Hello everybody, welcome back to the Observer's YouTube channel, Cocktails with Chris. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Markham, Director of Print for the Observer, and our resident mixologist. Uh, we have an extra special episode for you today. It's a triple threat. I'm going to show you to make three cocktails that all have coffee in them. So one's going to have espresso, one's going to have just coffee liqueur, and one's going to have just a normal cup of coffee. So I'm really excited for this. I hope you are too. Um, but before we get into it, I want to say that, you know, I always say drink responsibly, drink safely, be aware of what you're drinking. That's extra important when we're doing coffee cocktails. Because the, when you mix caffeine in coffee with the alcohol, uh, the caffeine sort of dulls the effects of the alcohol, makes you feel more alert than you actually are. So you may not feel as drunk, so you may drink more, which puts you at greater risk for overconsumption of alcohol. So be aware of that, please drink safe. I would say if you're gonna be drinking throughout the night, I'd say maybe just drink one of these and then move on to some other stuff. So that's my recommendation. That's what I do. I usually don't drink more than one coffee cocktail at a time. So as always, please be safe. Please be responsible. So without further ado, martini. So I'm not actually going to be making this with espresso. I'm going to be making this with a cold brew concentrate. So usually you would put this into like six to eight ounces of water mix it up and that gives you a cup of cold brewed coffee but this is the, along the same lines of espresso you know espresso is one cup of coffee concentrated into one shot of espresso this is one cup of coffee concentrated into an ounce and a half of concentrate so we're going to use that if you want to use espresso if you have an espresso maker go ahead and do that if you want to go to starbucks and buy a shot of espresso go ahead and do that i'm going to do this today so along with that to sweeten it we'll have simple syrup and then we'll also have Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur with rum in it. You can buy it at the store or you can make your own. I made this batch last night, pretty good. I can explain how to do that at the end of the episode. Uh, and then you're gonna need vodka. This, uh, this is you know, gonna provide the punch of it. Uh, the espresso martini was invented in the 1980s by London bartender Dick Bradsell when a supermodel came into his bar and requested for a drink that would, quote, wake me up and then fuck me up. And I can think of nothing that college students need more in a drink. So the espresso or the cold brew concentrate will be the wake me up and the vodka is the fuck me up. So this is a really good drink, super excited about it. Let's get into it. So, uh, cocktail shaker. I'm using a Boston shaker again uh, this week because the extra volume in the tins will make a really nice frothy head for the espresso martini. First things first, we're gonna do simple syrup. You don't need a lot of simple syrup because the Kahlua has a decent amount of sugar in it. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a quarter of an ounce. And then the fuck me up. Two ounces of water. There's half. And there's one point five. the tins, seal it, and I'm going to go slow at first just to make sure it gets a good seal so the tins don't break apart, and then I'm going to go fast. It's getting colder so it's getting a seal now, I can go faster. Okay, 
smack. One more. This gets really tight in me sometimes. Still getting the hang of using the Boston shaker. Throw on your hot burn strainer. Nice and frothy. Nice. You can put ice in the glass if you want. I'm, I don't want to, just look at that nice froth. All right, let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, that is exactly what you want from a coffee drink. It is sweet, nice strong coffee flavor from the cold brew. The Kahlua emphasizes that coffee flavor. The vodka is giving a nice punch. You can't really even taste the vodka that much, which is, you know, pretty perfect for this. All you get is coffee and sugar and foam and it is so good. Um, there's no milk in this. You're welcome to put milk in it if you want, if you like milk in your coffee, but I think this is perfect without. So that's the espresso martini for you. Uh, and then next I'm going to show you how to make a white Russian. And we're back and it's white Russian time. The White Russian was made famous by the character of the dude in the movie The Big Lebowski. I have no idea what the movie's about, I've never seen it. Uh, I'm sorry to my film buff friends out there and my film professor, but I've never seen it. But the important thing is, this is a delicious drink. So, it's just a simple combination of vodka, Kahlua, and half and half. You can use whatever milk or creamer you want, almond, oat, soy, dairy, whatever. I'm just going to use half and half. Um, that's probably the most popular one out there. So, let's get into it. So, this drink you just build right in the glass. So, one ounce of half and a half. Or again, whatever cream milk you want. And I like to do this a little differently than standard. Instead of uh, two ounces of vodka and one ounce of Kahlua, I like to flip it, so I use two ounces of Kahlua, one ounce of vodka. I think if you're using Kahlua, you might as well use Kahlua and really get that coffee flavor amplified. There's half. And there's two. And then, one ounce of vodka. This is the Russian part of the white Russian. And that's it. Three easy ingredients. Uh, you don't need to shake it. You're just going to give it a quick stir. So I got this bar spoon here. Doesn't need much stirring. Uh, oh yeah. I'm telling you, the coffee, having more Kahlua than vodka is the way to go. Because you really get all of that coffee flavor right there. And the vodka just provides a little bit extra of a punch. It's sweet, it's rich, it's creamy. I mean, it's a latte, coffee, milkshake, whatever you want to call it. It is good and it is you know, nice alcoholic punch. This is pretty much as perfect as a drink gets, in my opinion. So, you know, if you want to make it the normal way, two ounces of vodka, one ounce of Kahlua, go ahead. But if you really like coffee, I'm telling you, go with the extra Kahlua. So, this is great. All right, so that's number two. We did the espresso martini. We did the white, white Russian. Next, we're gonna do just a spiked cup of hot coffee. Stay tuned. Now it's time to make a spiked coffee. Um, you can use whatever kind of alcohol you want in a spiked coffee. You can use Irish whiskey and make it an Irish coffee. You can use 
bourbon and make it a American Kentucky coffee, I guess. Uh, you can use vodka and make it a Russian coffee. I have put amaretto in coffee and called it an Italian coffee. Today, I'm going to use a Jamaican rum and make it a Caribbean coffee. Really, really works well for me. I think the coffee and the, the rum really work together. The funkiness of the Jamaican rum holds up strongly against the strong flavors of the coffee. So, it is just coffee, alcohol, and sugar. For my sugar, I'm gonna use a brown simple syrup. You can use whatever syrup you want. Normal simple syrup, you can use a flavored syrup. Um, for me, I think that the brown sugar in the simple syrup will give it nice, rich flavors. So to make this, it's the same way as normal simple syrup, just a cup or two of brown sugar to a cup of water, dissolve it, and then you have your syrup. That's what I'm gonna do first. Half ounce of my brown simple syrup. And since I'm using hot coffee, I'm gonna put it into my Observer coffee mug. And then, ounce and a half of my rum. And then, however much coffee you want probably like six to eight ounces. Um, I'm not gonna measure it because this is metal and this is hot coffee and that will be insane. Um, you can use cold coffee, iced coffee, cold brew, whatever you want. I'm using hot coffee today. So, give it a little stir, make sure the rum and the sugar and everything combines. Give that a little taste before I add the final step. So. A little more coffee. And the final step is topping whipped with whipped cream. Um, of course, you can use whipped cream from a can. I'm going to try to shake up this half and half and make it a hand whipped cream. We'll see how that goes. So, a little bit of half and half into my shaker. Seal the shaker. Since there's no ice in here, you're gonna make sure you want it really tight so nothing spills out. Uh, and I'm gonna whip this and hopefully it turns into whipped cream. So, it's gonna take a while. Sing a song in your head. Something. Two hours later. Let's try that. Heavy whipping cream would work better, but I have half nap today, so that's what I'm using. Um, of course, canned whipped cream would be the easiest option, but so I'm gonna try to layer this on top of my coffee with the back of my spoon. That just creates a nice layer. Not super frothy, but it is layering on top of there nicely. So. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's pretty good. So, we got a spiked Caribbean coffee here. That's brilliant. I use pretty good coffee for this, so that's the majority of what you get is the coffee, so make sure you use good coffee. But the funky flavors of the rum come through nicely, that little bit of brown sugar is nice, and you know, you're drinking it through the whipped cream, so you get that nice creamy froth. It's wonderful, I should put the label out. Ta-da! So, that is excellent. So, and of course, you know, the weather's getting hotter, so you can make it with cold coffee, iced coffee if you want. Traditionally, it's gonna be made with hot coffee. So, we got your spiked coffee, we've got your white Russian, and we've got your espresso martini. Three excellent 
coffee cocktails, all very, very different. So go out, try, make yourself one of these. Um, yeah, all you need is coffee, sugar, half and half, some sort of creamer, uh, espresso, cold brew concentrate, and Kahlua. And speaking of Kahlua, if you want to make your own Kahlua, so you're going to take uh, instant coffee, sugar, water, and put that all into a vat. Um, my grandma, I use my grandma's recipe. She uses an ounce of instant coffee. And if you're a coffee snob like I am, that may give you pause at first, but instant coffee is going to be nice for this because you can really pack a lot of coffee flavor into it. I mean, an ounce of, six, an ounce of instant coffee is going to be about enough for six cups of coffee. So it's going to be really good here. So an ounce of instant coffee, about a cup of water, cup, a cup or two of sugar. My grandma likes hers really sweet. She uses two cups. I usually use a cup to a cup and a half. Throw that all in a pot. Heat it up until the coffee and the sugar dissolve, and then add some vanilla extract. Uh, I think half a tablespoon is good. Uh, or if you want to use a vanilla bean, you can just cut a vanilla bean in half, throw that in there, mix it up, let it cool, and then add one cup of whatever alcohol you want to use. I used rum to make mine really good, um, but you know if you want to use vodka or brandy or bourbon, whatever. So. And that's what we've got for you. Three delicious coffee cocktails and a Kahlua recipe. Uh, Kahlua is really expensive, so I don't really like to buy it. I just prefer to make my own. So that's what I got for you today. Again, please drink safely, drink responsibly. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment below if you have anything to say. Subscribe so you get all of our other videos coming out. And make sure you check out our videos that we've released in the past of showing you how to make margaritas, mojitos, cosmos, and the Case Western cocktail. So. Go out and enjoy these, be safe, be responsible, and have a good time. Thanks guys.